Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia, based on the famous play and novels by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Oh, you whistle much better since we've come to the country. Much, much better. Well, there's a reason to whistle when you live in the country. It's competition. He just doesn't want to be outdone by that old crow who lives in the barn. <laughs> Isn't that it, Mama? Indubitably. Indubitably what? Such oh. highfalutin talk, Mrs. Brown. <laughs> it's the air, David. It's gone to my head. So, you're a country girl at head, too. Oh, eh? dear. I guess I always was. Mm, just smell the air. Oh, David, it is a wonderful morning. But say, do we have to drive you to the station the same way every morning? This is the shortest and best way. Oh, I think it'd be much more fun to explore. I love exploring. Yeah, we'll explore when we don't have a train to make. You don't make trains, you catch them. What are you going to do today? Should we tell him, Mama? I surprise him. Well, your wife is going egg hunting today, Mr. Norton. Yes? Mrs. Brown. Yes. Uh, tell my wife that Easter is long since gone. But these are not those kind of eggs. These are everyday eating eggs. Then why do you have to hunt them? We're not going to hunt them. Oh, Mama, you always make everything sound so complicated. <laughs> I know exactly where we're going to find these eggs. Where? It's very simple. The carpenter, you know, Mitch, mm -hmm. well, his brother has a chicken farm. See, I didn't know a person farmed chickens. Well, um, eggs are raised, aren't they? Well, you raised me, and you didn't call Well, you weren't raised. You sprouted. Oh, oh, go back to the eggs, Claudia. It's much safer. Well, I'm going to buy them. Why? Because we need eggs. Mm. What's the matter with the ones we've got? You ate them. And they were delicious. Why can't you just get more of them? Because I got those in a store, David, and we're in the country now. So I don't think we ought to buy eggs in a store. Mm. I fail to understand your reasoning. Anyway, they're probably cheaper, not bought in a store. How do you know? Well, they must be, because they haven't been anywhere as yet. We are buying them right out from under the hand, so to speak. So we don't have to pay for their train fare. Your daughter, Mrs. Brown, is an economist. <laughs> I believe in economy, if that's what you mean. You believe in bargains. <laughs> do you know how to find this farm? Yes, we've got the directions written down it's here. It's a cinch. Look, I'll read it to you. Why, David, I'm sure even you could find the place. Oh, you flatter me. Look, now it says, drive down Route 120A till you meet Old Forks Lane. Mm -hmm. Then turn right till you go over a brook, and it becomes three roads. No. <laughs> three roads. Mm -hmm. Yes. The brook? Now, don't try to confuse me. Let's see, where was it? Oh, turn left at the Red Barn, go up a hill, around a traffic circle, and get on to Route 9. Wonderful how they number all the roads up in the country, isn't it? Oh, if only you could count. Um, aren't you there yet? Almost. <laughs> then there's a general store on the left, and I turn right. It's funny how you always do the opposite. And then it's um, right down at the bottom of the hill. It's called Henpecked Farm. <laughs> <laughs> Where you'll probably get eggs that laugh out of the other side of their yolk. Oh, <laughs> some <laughs> yolk. <laughs> David. Well, aren't those directions simple? It is very simple. Now, let's see. Start on Route 120A. Say, where is Route 120A? Don't you even know that? I'll find out. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't worry. <laughs> but just remember, darling, my train comes in at 6.03, and you've got to meet me. I'll be there. And listen, you just remember, you bring home the bacon to go with my farm eggs, <laughs> darling. <laughs> Now, you look on the right of the road, Mom, and I'll look on the left. I'd feel a good deal safer if you'd look at the whole road, Claudia. should be seeing a little sign pretty soon. The man at the garage said that Route 120A was just down this road a bit. Well, I certainly hope we find it soon. I'd like to get home in time for lunch. Seems like we've been driving around for hours. Hours and hours and hours. Oh, look, it, it's a quarter after 12. Claudia, I'm hungry. So am I. Mama, what was that? Well, it, 
It sounded to me as if your motor were coughing. You don't think it's caught cold, do you? Such a lovely warm day. Well, I don't know anything about cars. All I know is that I'm tired from driving around in this wilderness, and I'm hungry, and it's past my lunch hour, and I I don't want to see another egg as long as I live. We haven't even seen one worse, Mark. Oh, listen to that. I hope it's feeling all right. Claudia. Claudia. The car seems to be slowing down. Oh, this stupid old car. It's either running into people or getting flat tires or slowing down for no reason. Well, it's it's obvious to me this car is tired. Well, so am I. We've been running around for four hours looking for a silly old road with an egg at the end of it. I don't blame it. Shh, Mama. You want to give it ideas? Oh, come on, just a few more yards to the top of the hill. Maybe I ought to get out and push. We're almost on top. Mama, we are. Well, you'd... You'd better stop the car and give it a handkerchief. I don't like the sound of that coffee. <laughs> Mama, what do I do now? Well, uh, just think, uh, what would David do? David? Mm-hmm. Well, first he'd jump out and lift the lid off the motor. Yeah. Look in it. Then he'd cluck once or twice. Then he'd borrow a bobby pin and tickle the insides of the motor a little. Put the lid down and get back in and off we'd go. Well, here's a bobby pin. But, Mama, I don't know how to tickle. Oh. Hey, the car's rolling down the hill. <clears throat> Claudia, be careful. Put your foot on the brake. And stop it. Maybe we'll never start again. Claudia. I think I'll just let it roll. Claudia. Stop looking as if you were on a roller coaster. This is serious. Mama, look, there's a filling station. If you hold your breath and I hold my breath, maybe we'll roll right into it. Oh. We'll find a man there, and men always know about the insides of cars. I wonder why. Oh, I love the smell of gasoline. You can have that in New York. It's 331, ma'am. 331, that's an outrage. Pay him. Oh, all right. But he's going to make the eggs awfully expensive. How right you are. Pardon me, sir, but uh, could you tell us how to get to Route, route 9? Route 9, ma'am? Yes. The last person we asked told us to drive straight ahead for about five miles. Straight ahead? Then... Mm-hmm. Why, ma'am, you should be driving straight backwards. We should? You're right? driving just the opposite direction. No. Drive back just 12 miles away till you come to a white church. And white turn church. right. When you come to a greenhouse, turn left. Greenhouse, turn left. When you come to an orange barn, orange turn barn. south. Mom, are you listening to him? I left him at the foot of the rainbow. Then drive three miles, and when you get to the transverse, turn right. Turn right? You're bound to hit Route 9 that way. We are? Oh. Come on, Mama, let's go. We're practically there. Yes, practically. Mama, what time is it? Let's see. Oh, dear. It's three o'clock. Three o'clock. Mm-hmm. Well, all we have to do is turn left at this antique store. Such a nice-looking antique store, too, isn't it? Claudia, we are not going to stop again. Now, Claudia, please. Well, now, here we are on our way again. Oh. My legs are getting so stiff. Oh, too bad, Mama. You know, there wasn't a thrifty buy in that whole store. Mm -hmm. Tragic. We'll have to come back. Maybe we should almost be at the farm now. I think we're almost in San Francisco. (laughs) And we must be at least 100 miles from the Eastbrook Station. I think, I think I see a brook. And the first man said we should turn right at a brook, didn't he? The man before the last man said you should turn left at the brook. Did he? Yes, he did. Claudia... Are you sure you know how to, how to follow directions? What do you think I've been doing all day? I would hate to tell you. Personally, I think that if you didn't make me ask everybody where we were going, and if you just let me follow my own instincts, oh, we'd be much... Oh, I refuse to consider the possibilities. Mama, what does that look like up there ahead? Oh, it looks like a general store to me. Have you got the directions? I have them. But they're torn and crumpled, and they're practically illegible by now. Never mind if they're illegible. What do they say? Turn right at the general store. And then we're there. Well, I'm going to turn around when we get to the general store, believe me. Claudia, we have only 15 minutes to make that train. 15 minutes? Yes. Mama will never make it. I could have told you that at 9 o'clock this morning. Oh, this is terrible. This is... David will be furious. Well, all right, then. What about me? I'm furious. Look, Mama, 
I'm going to pull into the general store here, and for the last time, I'm going to ask for directions. Do that. Whoever said we'd live the simple life in the country? Even roads are complicated. <laughs> I'm going in to ask Mama. Come on, you come with me. Hmm? Well, ma'am, what can I do for you? Excuse me, but can you tell us how to get to Henpeck Farm? Sure thing, ma'am. Straight ahead. Straight ahead? Mm -hmm. What do you mean, straight ahead? The last man we asked said to turn to the right. Are you sure you know? Sure, I'm sure. I live at Henpeck Farm. What is that you said? You what? Save yourself some trouble, ma'am. You can buy your eggs here. But I don't want to buy them in a store. I want to buy them on a farm. That is the whole point. Ma'am, these eggs come straight from Henpeck Farm. Brought them over here myself this morning. But I came all this way to buy eggs on a farm. Claudia, Claudia, this is no time now you to... You buying these eggs, ma'am, or, or not? Oh, yes, I suppose I am. Here, give them to me. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh. oh, the eggs. <gasps> There'll be an omelet. Mama, will you look at that? Not one single solitary egg broken. <laughs> you see, it was worth coming this far to get farm eggs after all. <laughs> but um, you bought them in a store. Oh, what's the difference? They're farm eggs, aren't they? <laughs> I give up. Come on, Claudia. Let's hurry. We have only five minutes to get to the station, and it's all your fault, you know. Five minutes is all you need, ma'am. You just go down this road one mile. You turn to the left. Turn to the left. And there you are. Where? East Brook Station. Oh, if I East Brook it. Station. <laughs> I can't believe it. It can't be. It's taken us all day long to get back to it. <laughs> I don't see how. You don't. Well, we've been driving around in circles in all circles. day. Circles. <laughs> we've been driving around in twenty circles. Not only that, but I paid. Three dollars and thirty-one cents for gas. I didn't buy one single antique well, in that stupid old shop. And I bought my eggs in a store. Mm. <laughs> and, Mama, isn't it enough to make you bust? We can even hear the train from here. <laughs> <laughs> when your shopping bag begins to fill up and you still have marketing ahead... Why not step over to that friendly red cooler and pause for refreshing, ice-cold Coca-Cola? There are Coke coolers in so many food stores these days. They're put there, remember, so that you may shop refreshed. I guess the young lady don't know how to get around this part of the country yet. Guess she don't, and uh, I guess the native Eastbrookers don't know how to give directions out yet, either. Well, you always got to take directions with a grain of salt. And a road map in your lap. Well, I'll tell Claudia just as soon as I get a chance. Now, is the young lady planning to raise her own eggs just so she won't have to buy them in the store? Claudia's planning to raise a lot more than her own eggs. She is, eh? Yep, and tomorrow she's going to tell David about a few of those things because she's going to read a book on how to turn one acre of land into a small farm. Uh-uh. <laughs> Them books can be mighty misleading. And Claudia's just the girl to be misled. Well, I'll be eavesdropping tomorrow. So long, Mr. So long. King. As I was saying, every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you transcribed with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir. And remember, whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes. And ice-cold Coca-Cola is everywhere. This broadcast of Claudia was supervised and directed by William Brown Maloney. And now here's a word from your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola.